Dear viewers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hetullah with another new video of CSSF 2000 version 20. So, okay, first of all, I'm just going to uh, starting my software. So, here our software, shape 2000, and uh, by using that software. I will try to complete many types of tasks that are essential for civil engineers okay and this is CSI product and you if you are already know about that how to use ETAPS then you it will be very easy to you to learn that software okay so uh, within some tutorial I will try to cover that software and I'll try to teach you about that tutorial series so let's start and before starting if you civil engineer and also if you didn't subscribe to our channel then please subscribe because your support is very, very essential for us and it's encourages us to do our next work so first of all we have to click here new model otherwise you can click file then here new model or control plus n it's up to you so i'm just simply clicking here new model and if you have already a model from SAP then by clicking here you can import that from your desired location now first of all I'm just clicking here now from here first of all you have to select something that the unit this is very important unit which types of unit you want to take okay this is first is load and second is length okay so first of all if we consider uh, keep feet F okay I mean Fahrenheit so I'll just take that unit okay keep feet and Fahrenheit so it's done now here modify show information so if you need you can give her some data like company name client name because uh, if you and here design code because if you give it here okay if you give here some data after detailing you will get that specification right so I'm just cancelling that and from here you have to select something from here so first of all if I come here blank uh, as I'm starting from zero level that's why I'll select here grid only okay I'll select here grid only so here I'm just taking that and grid only now they have two types cut uh, cartesian and here cylindrical okay so I'll just um, select that option okay Cartesian and now here the number of grid line okay X direction number of grid line in X direction how much it will be it's up to you so first of all I will in this lecture I'm just giving you that basic knowledge that's why uh, I'll just give her in X direction if I consider it's 3 and Y direction it's considered 4 okay and uh, in Z direction how S3 it will be okay how S3 it will be so if I consider here consider it will be okay 5 S3 here 5 5 is and here the grid spacing the grid spacing here that value are in feet actually okay because we have selected that value in feet so grid spacing in x direction what will be so first of all if I give it consider 12 12 uh, or 15 feet 15 feet and in y direction consider it's 14 feet and Z duration consider that that is 10 feet okay and the first grid line location so we will give it 0 
because it will start from zero then I'll simply click OK now see here here is your grid line okay here is your grid line and if you see here if I take mouse here in right in 3d view you will see here some boundary line okay you'll see a boundary line if is, if is it not available to you okay then you can click here option then show boundary plane just see here if you take mouse now that line are not available right but if you take here give here show boundary line then this line is available to you now so here that is our model in plan view xy plan view and here that is in 3d view okay so here the xy yz and uh, xz and yz right so is the x direction and here is the y direction and the top i mean the upper direction is z direction okay so here is the xy is the yz if i take mouse here just see here here is the line here is the yz and here is the yz so that, that is the view of our line and uh, i'll come here okay so it's done now when our grid system is done now suppose our uh, the grid spacing that are not exact what i need actually okay then how to do we will edit okay then from here we are able to edit that line but uh, by right clicking here by right clicking here edit grid data okay edit grid data so we'll come here the select global then we'll click here show or modify now if you see here that is the distance for x direction okay, for x direction from ordinate okay from ordinate so we'll select from here spacing okay we'll select from here spacing so from point a if i come here from a to b that is 15 from b to c that is 15 now if you need to change that spacing suppose a to b 15 but uh, b to c that is 18 so here if i give her 18 it will also change after applying and for also similarly for our direction you can change that suppose if you want to give her oh, 16 it's okay and if you need to wait some story or some grid then you can simply click a red so see red and here you have to give data like consider 12 okay it's done when you do change here you will give here i mean sorry you will see here the change so it's done and the history height okay history height this is a fast story i mean j1 j2 j3 j4 j5 you can also change that history name okay you can change the history name from here right so this is uh the history and uh, if I click uh, if I consider that our base history will be six feet okay and our both top history will be ten feet ten feet then it's okay then I'll simply click here okay and also click here okay now see here there have some chains right there have some sorry depths it will be in 3d so just see here we have changed our grid system so in this way actually you can uh, change your grid system as you required and after that from here you have to define material then section properties then mass source okay then from here the functions and also load pattern load case and load combination 
Okay, so in our next lecture, I'm just going to start about that. Okay, I'm just going to start about that. How will consider that data? Okay, so that was the way to edit our grid system, right? That was the way to edit our grid system. So I hope that was helpful for you, and if you think that that's also helpful for you. Then please subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever fast. So thank you, thank you very much. Still, stay connected till next video.